kabar sayang? Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've shared with you some of my beauty tips and tricks on this channel. Anyway, just to give you guys a bit of a background about my hair, I have dyed it, I've bleached it, I've permed the roots, and also I've used a curling iron and also a straightening iron every single day whenever I'm on set filming however i still do get comments saying that you guys like my hair and it looks really moisturized and healthy so in this video i'll be sharing with you my top five secrets to healthy and moisturized hair that i personally follow religiously so if you are interested in keeping your mane healthy and also you want to improve it uh, keep on watching tip number one is something that i recently added into my my hair care routine and that is to detangle your hair and massage your scalp before washing your hair. I usually use a brush to remove all the knots from my hair and this will help in reducing breakage which will further damage your hair. Then I'll use the same brush and lightly comb and massage my scalp to remove all the gunk, impurities and dirt that are stuck on my scalp. It also helps you to distress and also with blood circulation on your scalp. I've had this brush for many many years now. I think I got it when I was in uni and it has been doing such an amazing job in detangling my hair and also massaging my scalp. And I know, I know this is an added step and it sounds like such a chore but if you want healthy hair, you gotta put in the work. <laughs> And if you can have a 10-step skincare routine, detangling your hair and massaging your scalp for 5 minutes shouldn't be a problem. Now we move on to the second tip which is to choose the right shampoo and conditioner. It is also very important to know your hair and scalp type as well. So if you have normal or oily hair, you're more likely suited to use a purifying shampoo. If you have dry and damaged hair, you might find a restoring shampoo more useful to combat the damage. Dove recently released their Hyaluron Serum Series and these shampoos and conditioner contain a very, very important, mind-blowing, game-changing ingredient called Hyaluronic Acid, also known as Hyaluron. Hyaluron. <laughs> You've never heard of it before? Well, do you want to know more? All right, all right, I'm here to give you the 411 of how not just great, but how amazing it is. If you are a skincare or beauty junkie just like me, you would know how beneficial Hyaluron is to your skin in keeping it plump and also hydrated. That's because Hyaluron is a water holding molecule that can retain moisture in your skin. And now you can have the same exact ingredient for your hair and this will give a more hydrating and a plumper appearance to thin, flat and also damaged hair. There are two variants, purifying and restoring. The purifying range contains hyaluron and also a hydro complex, which cleanse your hair deeply yet gently, meanwhile giving your hair a moisture boost and at the same time locking in all the moisture that your hair needs. The restoring range contains hyaluron and also ceramide complex, which moisturizes your hair and repairs the damage from within. These shampoos are absolutely, absolutely colorant and paraben free. Meanwhile, the conditioners, ta-da! <laughs> they can moisturize your hair without leaving it feeling greasy and oily. Since I have oily scalp, I've been using both the purifying shampoo and conditioner for the past week, and I could definitely see a difference in my hair. Personally, I like the shampoo because it is transparent and lightweight, which is perfect for my hair type. And the conditioner is fast absorbing and it doesn't leave my hair oily and greasy. The oiliness has definitely been reduced and my hair appears to be more moisturized, hydrated and healthy. In conclusion, remember to know your hair and scalp type so that you can pick the right products to see positive results. Tip number three, do not 
wash your hair with hot, hot water. Although hot water won't directly cause hair loss, but it could directly affect the health of your scalp. That's because the high temperature has the potential to damage your hair follicles, dry out your skin, and also cause irritation and redness. If your scalp is not in its best condition, neither will your hair, and that will result in hair that's brittle and more prone to breakage. Instead, to achieve healthy and also moisturized hair, try using cold or room temperature water because that way it will be less damaging for your scalp. I don't know about you guys, but I used to have wounds ever so often on my scalp and I don't know why it happened until I read an article about the damage that hot water can do to your scalp. I immediately had an epiphany and um, I started to use cold water or room temperature water instead when I wash my hair and my scalp has been healthier ever since. Tip number four, do not dry your hair vigorously. I noticed that ever since I stopped the habit of rubbing or wringing my hair vigorously, uh, my hair did not fall or break as much as before. Instead, uh, nowadays I actually squeeze the excess water slowly and also blot my hair gently. Uh, I could definitely see a difference. And I know, to be honest, this is such a slow process and sometimes I have no time for it. It. but to achieve something sometimes you have to sacrifice something and in this case it's your time <laughs> so if you want healthier looking hair you gotta you gotta put in the effort but I can assure you in the long run you can definitely see the difference tip number five eat a well-balanced diet just like our bodies and our skin our hair reflects what we eat as well as our mothers would always nag us to stop eating instant noodle your hair fall then you know I cannot emphasize how true that statement is, so try your best to avoid packaged and also processed foods because the sodium in the ingredients can cause your hair to fall. I've read somewhere that eggs are a great source of protein and also biotin, two nutrients that are amazing to promote your hair growth. And also I'm a I'm a big fan of berries. So berries contain uh, beneficial compounds and also vitamins that can also promote hair growth as well as carrots. Carrots are not just great for your eyes actually, the vitamin A can actually provide excellent nourishment for your scalp. So in conclusion, <laughs> less processed foods and more vegetables and fruits. And that's it. Those are my top 5 secrets to healthy and moisturized hair. Thank you so much for watching up until the end of this video. I hope these 5 secrets will help you achieve your hashtag hair goals and also improve your journey to healthier looking hair. If you're interested in any of the products shown in this video, uh, feel free to check them out in the description box down below. I'll link everything there for you. And if you have your very own hair secrets, or tips and tricks, please feel free to comment in the comment section down below and share it with the rest of the family and click on the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel and join the family if you haven't already done so and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye sayangs!